Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Avery Attorney with August. I'm God. here. Can you, can you not? God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're interrupting my intro here. God. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Liger, and I'll be your assistant host for today. Okay, just, just go. Okay. <laughs> That's the intro. Okay, thank you for that. You're but welcome. before we begin, we have important things to discuss, Jesse. What? So, you've probably realized during the last recording session, but I haven't been paying attention to the game at all. So during that first trial, I didn't really know what to do. Okay. Um, but between episodes, I've actually gone back and rewatched the videos, and I have much better understanding of what's going on in this case now. And I think I know who the killer is. Uh, good for you. I didn't do anything about that. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. One of us knows. Well, I'm pretty sure the killer is that goose woman that we met in the market that one time because the uh, our client, the fox guy, told us a story about this girl whose parents were in debt and so she had to work for this mob guy to work off the debt. Okay. And Mousy gave us some bedding stubs that belonged to people with the same last name as the goose woman. Along with that, she's also a flower seller. She's like a perfect opportunity to do it. And so I think she's the killer in this case. Uh, okay. That's Did great. you get all that? Yeah, yeah. Good. Just don't ask me to repeat it back to you. Okay. <laughs> I was actually thinking about this, and if it turns out that the um, mouse guy and the fox guy are just setting up the goose woman and they're actually guilty, then I'll be really pissed. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> you can't have two twits like that. It goes stale. God, the first case was like that too, remember? Yeah, but like, no one would Why expect would them to do, do it twice that? in a row. Oh, God, no. God forbid they do that. <laughs> Christ. I'm just yeah, I think she's the thing. killer. If it's not her, then I have no idea. All right. Well, then, let's get into this, I guess. Let's yes. Rooster. Well, the court session started and we're not here. So I think we're still being fished out of the river by that fisherman dude. Wait, what? <laughs> Remember last episode, we got thrown into the river by someone? Oh, I didn't he do that before before when he was drunk or something, though? I'm confused. No, that happened at the end of the last recording session. Uh, oh, okay. We got thrown into the river, and then we had the hallucinations about the cat lady and Kokoriko. So, at the beginning of this case, we were drunk and having hallucinations. And before the, before the trial, we were having hallucinations as well. Man, you really forget the last recording session, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. So we're on the second trial right now, okay? Okay. This is like a catch-up for everyone following us. Before this trial started, somebody tried to kill us. Okay. And we got saved by the fisherman dude who was in the first trial segment of case two. Okay. Are you on? Are you good now? When were we getting drunk? <laughs> At the beginning, like before we even got the client. Okay. Because Sparrowson, oh not Sparrowson, um, Falcon was depressed about the Catwoman being like a bitch. <clears throat> Okay, so he was just drunk, he wasn't hallucinating or anything like that. No. Is that right? <laughs> okay. Apparently, the King of France is here. It's a penguin! Oh, alright then. He doesn't look much like a... whatever you are. Romulus! What the fuck?! That is a villain in Star Trek, excuse me! Is it? Excuse me, sir or madam. Well, shit. Well, if that doesn't give him away, then I don't know what will. Okay. <laughs> you know, in Ace Attorney, there's never been an evil judge, so it's possible. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Also, you realize, right, that Romulus was the judge in the last recording session, so you only just noticed? I didn't. Nope. Didn't <laughs> notice. Okay, so this is the king, and I don't know why they're testifying here. This is really weird. Hang on, I'm googling Romulus Star Trek to make sure I'm right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm right. I'm... I think I'm right. <sighs> okay. Isn't Romulus a villain in like the first Star Trek or something? Romulus is a planet that got destroyed. Okay, so the judge is actually a planet. Romulans are fucking angry about it and they hate everybody. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> that is a very loose interpretation. <laughs> okay, so they hate everybody because they had their planet blown up? Yeah, because somebody blew it up. I think it had something to do with Spock. I'm Good job, Spock, for blowing up the planet. Yeah, it's what about the friggin' like thing that Space Command is meant to follow? I don't, I don't know. You know that thing. Romulus and I'm pretty sure Romulus and Vulcan are related 
somehow or something or that Ooh, out of the same species or something like that. I'm not sure. Do quote me on this. I'm I'm a fucking noob. I say this all the time in my Star Trek LP. Don't qu don't quote me on anything. <laughs> yep. Oh god. I'm not credible for anything. Guys. I think your job in this LP was to cross check stuff. <laughs> yeah, it was, but I can't read and talk at the same time. God. Okay. So the king entered the Louvre at nine o'clock, and they passed through the Sally de Tibber with little fanfare. And the grand gallery unveiled the painting and gave a short speech. That's when I was approached by a man claiming to be the Prince of Spain. Okay. Interesting. I kind of expected us to jump right into the testimony of the goose, or like mm. uh, the you know our fox friend. So the fact that the king just randomly showed up is kind of weird. Yeah. Maybe he's the murderer. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that man was not the Prince of Spain. Brace yourselves because I have a revelation that will turn this trial on its head. Oh. Juan Corrido is not the Prince of Spain. Oh no, holy crap, I had no idea. Oh. I did know that, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Apparently everybody else already realized that besides Falcon. Oh, well then, um, holy fuck, we're really bad at <laughs> this, aren't we? <laughs> Never mind then. Never mind about us being behind. Fucking Falco's behind. Oh, God. That's doubly. Yeah, this is bad. I'm going to try and play this a bit more carefully because I don't know what will happen if I fail the trial again. You'll probably die. Maybe. Like, Falcon just gets declared guilty. <laughs> um... You're guilty for being a terrible lawyer. <laughs> Whatever. Defense attorney. There you go. Do you reckon, like... Oh no, that'd be stupid. I was gonna say, do you reckon that like defense attorneys can get sent to jail if they're too bad? But that would be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to represent myself in this matter. Thank you very much. I'm going to do a phoenix oh, and God. represent myself because my mentor died. Spoilers. Yes. Oh, spoilers for the very first. Uh, uh, not the first, the uh, second. Sorry. <laughs> the second case of the first game, then? God, Jesse. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should know. I, should, I really should. I know. I should do my research. Goodness gracious me. Ooh. Uh, it's a valid question. Please, please You're tell me it's a valid, valid question. question. Dozens of paintbrush wielding, mustache touting weirdos. What? Well, this king is like really, really happy, I guess. Weirdos. That's that's nice to say. Jeez. Apparently, he also saw some hipsters. Oh no! Wow, hipsters. Is that an old term or a new term? Like. I think it's like a new term. Oh, I've pissed the jury off again. Shit. Oh, I thought that said Burger King for a second there, but no, it said that. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Pointless speculation. I wasn't. I wasn't ready for this. Now the king's leaving. Holy shit. I'm going home. <laughs> wow. Okay, thanks, man. Wow. I am a terrible lawyer. It's fine. What happened? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Somebody's like, controlling me, man. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the king to come in here. And plus, like, I... I got away, like, after one question from the king. Like, one wrong answer. Usually, as attorney gives you five. Nope. Not wow. Insane. Well, he just it's died. A... So yeah. Wow. We're, we're, uh, death by guilt. Like, is that <laughs> is that just how it's gonna end now, or what? I guess. Ah, oh, Prince Juan, he's here. This is peculiar. Yes, it is. I could see this trial could go in a dozen different directions, but I never anticipated that it end right here, right now. Most peculiar. Wow, you seem kind of happy for somebody who's going to go under the guillotine. I'm just, I'm just saying, man. I really screwed up. <laughs> he does seem very. Because I'm handsome. <laughs> well, you fucked up now. I mean, you may as well just go all the way. Heh, no. <laughs> well, then. You have a great character. That's Russian. That's not <laughs> Spanish. Still is no matter. It's good to get my vodka. And Hardly. enjoy my last hours. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, I think the, okay. I think the prince is gonna escape. Oh, <laughs> I don't, I'm confused. Is this supposed to happen? Maybe it does. Like 
we talked about this in the last recording session, but I have no idea how the different, like, storylines in this game work. Yeah. Like, I think it's entirely possible that you probably can free the prince in that first trial we did, but we just kind of messed <laughs> up. And now because we failed again, he's going to escape. Hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm really confused by this. Huh. Oh, that guy! Hi, that guy. How are you <laughs> yeah, doing? the useless detective that destroys evidence. Yeah. He has no hand. Also no arm. Where the fuck is his arm? Does he have anything? He, he probably destroyed that too one time. Yeah. This arm is terrible evidence. Off it goes. Wow, you literally just had him. Why the fuck did they... <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> did he just ask for the key and they gave it to him? The mouse stole the key. What mouse? Um, Mousy, the fox's friend. Oh, right. Yeah. Sparrowson! Whoa, you calm down, man. Hello. Where is everyone? I don't know. Are you blind? I'm right here. I think so Sparrowson you... came in to, like, save the day. And he failed. Oh. oh. Well done. Is that the end of case two? Are you serious? End of act two. Holy shit! <laughs> Okay, then. I am so That's bad at this game. Weird. That is a bit weird, isn't it? Like, what even? I don't know, like, maybe... That's a weird game. I probably should have watched Luca. Like, she's um completed it on her uh, Twitch. <laughs> I probably should have watched it. Okay, I know NCS is playing it, too. Yeah. But, like, I have no idea what I was meant to do, though, in that final thing. Unless I just miss some evidence somewhere. I don't know, either. I really don't, man. I feel really annoyed about this. <laughs> If I was playing this by myself, I would totally go back and get, like, the best ending. Oh my god. What? And then tell everybody that you got it on your first try. The completionist is me is getting did? angry, Jesse. I'd go back and get the best ending and then not tell anybody that I screwed up on the very first time I played. Oh, oh yeah. Well, come <laughs> on, Jesse. We know how much I, like, did Undertale in my first go, because I'm awesome. Oh, you did. You d No. That is... You I did. I didn't very... kill a single person, Jesse. You are a very... Special case. And when I say special, I mean retarded. <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, here we are into Act 3. So. Okay. <laughs> the wall! Oh, no, it's the sky. Never mind. You know what? I'm actually thinking about that, like, second case. And I wonder if that was meant to happen. <laughs> because the first case ended in a bad way. And now the second case of kind of ended in a bad way. But I don't know. Like, oh my god, this game is so mysterious and awesome. It's so mysterious. It's so mystic. What the fuck is happening? It's a picture, I think, of a war. It's a war. Maybe? Metal Gear! I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of some Metal Gear quests, but I'm coming up blank. Holy shit! <laughs> uh... The Sleeping City. Yeah. I can do anything because I've done it in VR! <laughs> it's not a quote, but it may as well pretty much be Raiden. Oh my god. Come on, what are writing quotes? You're watching it. Tell us. I don't know. I'm the... I haven't played Metal Gear Solid 2 in like so long. Hang on, I'll bring up Facebook so I can look at the quotes that I've pasted to you. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Give me a... Laugh and grow fat. Oh god. Excuse me? <laughs> are you up to Fat Man yet? Not yet. They're like chasing bombs through the weird place. Yeah, Fat Man's the one that put them in there. Yeah, I know. They keep talking about him, but I haven't run into him yet. He is amazing. Um. I should mention this. Jesse's watching the Nerd Cubed play Metal Gear Solid 2. So, yeah. yeah, I am. And yes, I love that game. You're saying that VR is some kind of mind control? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Raiden. Well, I guess it kind of is in a way, just in a really stupid way. <laughs> You mean those VR titties are trying to make me straight, Colonel? <laughs> that was you, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, the Colonel. Uh... The guy who voices the Colonel is amazing because he's been in like 20 games or so that I've played and he always does the exact same voice in every single one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like he's also, I wonder if he still does voice acting. I, I don't, don't know. know. Okay, so the inspector wants to see us about something. <laughs> Maybe it's the fox oh, running away. Us. He's gonna fire us. Well, how can he fire us? He's a detective. Because we're so shit. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You're going to jail, Falcon, for being a terrible defense attorney. Yeah. We are pretty bad. <laughs> oh, they're saying that. Wouldn't, like, the detectives want a terrible defense attorney so everyone they find would go guilty? I don't know. It's... I also wonder if you could play this game as, like, being completely negative. Like, shall we go talk to this guy, Falcon? No! <laughs> Fuck off, Sparrison. Right. Well, then. Goodness. Falcon needs to go to the hospital. Uh, Sparrison needs to go to the hospital for something. Oh, shit. For what, I wonder? Maybe he needs to pay the bill for his last visit. Okay. <laughs> Why did... We have to either go to the hospital or talk to the inspector. Why can't he go himself? Why? I don't know. He needs us there. Maybe he's not an adult yet. Oh. Well, why the fuck is he following us around? Jesus <laughs> Christ, this isn't Professor Layden. <laughs> Little boy! Oh, God, no. <laughs> Shut up, Luke. <laughs> oh. It's like Pearl from Mace Attorney. Like, Sparrow <laughs> is actually eight, and we're just watching him because his parents are dead. Oh my god, that is so fucked up. Well, actually, they're in... her mum's in prison. You get me. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I think. Everyone is dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Kokoriko. Oh, what do you want? I don't like that guy. <laughs> I think he's pretty cool, actually. I like him. No. Why would you like him? He's your, your prosecutor. He's your rival. You're not meant to like him. Oh, come on. Like, the best characters in Ace Attorney are prosecutors. You know how much I, like, have a man crush on Edgeworth? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know about that. That condition that you have. Uh... There's also a guy in Ace Attorney 5 called Black Quill, who is amazing. Okay. I'm gonna... You've probably seen a picture of him before. He's got, like, black hair and he's a falcon. Or a hawk, I think it is. Black. Yeah, his name's Simon Backquill. Oh, hello there, detective. Oh, the really emo-looking guy. Yes, that guy. He's amazing. Bloody hell. <laughs> he looks like you in the gothic year. <laughs> oh, yeah, when I went through my emo age. Yeah. Those dark, dark times. Oh, my God. But I do like Kokoriko, though, because he seems like a very nice guy. Like, he wants a challenge, so the fact that we messed up in the last trial really annoyed him. Yeah. Oh, well. I can get behind that. He's pretty cool. You get behind him and I'll just stay and watch. You, you do that. You have wow. fun with that. You turn that really <laughs> dirty really quickly. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, isn't it? Oh, apparently, um... I thought that was what I was here for. The detective's arm got blown off by a gunpowder keg. What happened to the other arm? <laughs> I don't know. Only one arm got blown up. The other one's a mystery. <laughs> He's saving that for the bedroom. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah, okay. 